Hey Tech Talk viewers, we have the Xbox Series X. This is the one terabyte edition that is uh, just launched today, November 10th. And this was a difficult pre-order that we snagged from Best Buy. We got one also from Amazon, but unfortunately that one is canceled until, well, it's delayed until December 31st. So these were hard to come by. They're generally out of stock right now. Uh, this is the box, the Series X, and unlike the Xbox box, uh, this one actually comes with four wings on each corner. Uh, one sticker there, one sticker down here, and two stickers on the bottom right here. And these tabs just pull away, revealing the inside of this box with Power Your Dreams, the Xbox Series X. Uh, it's oddly shaped. The Power Your Dreams uh, ad campaign is kind of interesting. I went to their website today because there was an email where you could follow a text-based game, and it was rather strange. And if you've been watching TV, you've noticed some of these weird ads popping up where somebody is basically dreaming, and maybe that's because they don't have a flagship game to really go with this new console just yet. Uh, sure, there are some new uh, next-gen games uh, coming out, including um, Assassin's Creed, uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla and also uh, Call of Duty but those are also on previous generations. Well, let's take a look at this. Despite its interesting marketing that, I don't know, really didn't re resonate or connect with me. This is a giant cube. Oh, it's hefty. Um, this is, uh, I guess, a door hanger. Not exactly sure what that is. Uh, instructions on how to configure your um, accessories. It looks like we have some accessories tucked away in here. Let's take a look at what they are. So it looks like we have a HDMI cable. Always nice that they include that for free. I'm assuming this is a high-speed cable. Uh, we have a power cable and it looks like we have product guide warranty and here's the new controller it looks like we have tucked here. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So we have this controller. Now this controller is much like the Xbox One controller, and the good news is if you have a ton of these lying around, the Xbox One controllers like we have at home, um, this is actually, those are actually backwards compatible with the system. Now this new controller, ooh, I can feel it already. It's a little different. Uh, it comes with batteries too. You can notice right away that in the middle there's a share button, that new share button. Uh, is going to allow you to share clips. It has a little bit more texture. Let's see if we can actually see this. There's texture on the back side of these grips here. There you go. See those little bumps? That's new. And I think the trigger itself, yes, the trigger itself, let's see if we can zoom in. There you go. The right trigger and left triggers have a little bit of a textured knob so that uh, you can have a little more grip on those triggers there. Otherwise, uh, look at that, USB-C connector. So that's also a little new uh, compared to before. Let's bring that back into focus. And then again, that share button in the middle there. Otherwise, this feels very familiar, very comfortable. And I think, you know, okay, there's a three and a half millimeter audio jack as well, just like before. So Xbox has a winning um, uh, gamepad that I really like. Actually, I, I love this a lot more than any of the PlayStation controllers. Uh, again, I'm not an Xbox exclusive fanboy. I have both consoles. I don't know why everybody fusses about which one is superior when clearly there's advantages of getting both. Uh, I, I love Horizon Zero Dawn uh, on the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation 5. Uh, that's probably one of the things that I'll get that for just to get uh, Forbidden West. But that one's a different story. That I was not able to snag a pre-order of. Okay, here's the kind of the shoulders or the bumpers. Pretty heavy duty thick foam for this guy here. And what we're gonna do is just take a look at the actual Xbox system itself, which is wrapped up. Am I opening this upside down? I think I'm opening this upside down. So let's bring this out into the middle here. Open this up here take a look at the dimensions of this system. All right, here we go. We have a uh, 
a Blu-ray slot. And one of the questions I have is whether or not this supports 3D Blu-rays. And we didn't have any specs on that yet. So um, one of the things that we can do now with the irony is my 3D TV isn't even hooked up anymore because, uh, gosh, the 3D support has gone away gone the way of the dodo basically uh, and th there's virtually no uh, current generation TVs that support 3D Blu-rays uh, but that's one thing that I figured will pop in one of our old 3D Blu-rays I'm trying to look in the uh, specs here if this was listed the interesting thing is the Xbox One uh, did support 3D Blu-rays and oftentimes tucked away in some of their technical specs here if we can find anything of that nature we can kind of see if it's supported. Well, we got the same documentation in multiple languages as they usually do in this. So I'm, I'm going to say, um, if I can look through this quickly, whether or not it has anything, it has a lot of warnings of do not overheat, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Atmos support, it has Dolby Vision support. But again, there's nothing here. Uh, it does say it's registered for Blu-ray opti optical discs, Blu-ray Ultra HD Blu-rays. Uh, there's nothing that mentions 3D Blu-ray anywhere here. So again, this may be proof in the pudding where we just have to pop in a 3D Blu-ray, uh, which I do have a couple of uh, them left once we boot this up, just to see if it even recognizes or tries to play that. Okay, and um, let's take a look at the dimensions of this thing. There is a nice green kind of painted, um, you can see that kind of on an angle uh, vent. And down in here, there is presumably, yep, there you can see it very faintly, a fan that is tucked in at the top here, creating a vortex chamber of air here. And the processor GPU are just all stacked up. This is fairly boxy. Now my only concern is that most consoles that uh, your uh, entertainment systems are on don't really support this dimension. It's literally a box. <laughs> Ironically, Xbox, right? Uh, this uh, is a lot more boxy than the other ones were. And taking a look at this right here, uh, this is the back of it. We have uh, the expansion spot for the storage. We have an HDMI spot. Uh, two USB slots and uh, Ethernet power and an HDMI out. So not too much to offer on the back of here, but suffice it to say there is that fast SSD expansion. And in the front, one more USB, presumably to charge your controller. Now one thing that I do find is kind of missing in all this is a controller charging cable. Would have been nice if they threw in a USB-C cable that connected to the uh, controller for recharging, but I think that's with the play and charge kit. They do give you some batteries, I think just some Duracell ones that Microsoft usually, yep, Duracell ones that Microsoft usually pairs up with uh, your controller. So I'm assuming the play and charge kits with the rechargeable batteries will get you your USB-C and extension USB cable to allow for wireless charging. All right, let's go try to set this up by the by the actual TV, by the console. I'm going to have to find a place probably a, tucked on the shelf uh, for this all to hook up, and we'll be able to check out the 3D Blu-ray support as well as how fast this loads. Uh, I'm not going to do a technical load times comparison. I've seen a lot of the reviews on commercial sites. Uh, this is more of a unboxing and how this fits into my home setup uh, video. And also to answer that question that nobody seems to answer about whether or not it supports 3D Blu-ray for those enthusiasts out there as I once was. I still have a 3D TV, but it's, it's not 4K. So, All right, let's get this set up and take a look. Okay, folks, uh, after a torturous couple of minutes uh, finding a spot for this guy, this is the Xbox Series X sitting on our bookshelf because that's where I could find it to fit. As you can see, the console here just doesn't fit. In fact, uh, that used to be 
I think a Nintendo area, and that's turned into the switch that sits over here for easier access. And there's the Xbox One X that I was yanking cords off of. Here's the PlayStation 4. I don't think that, well, maybe the PlayStation 5 can fit somewhere in here right now. Uh, but the Xbox Series X had to find its space on the side of the bookshelf here. Um, the good news, folks, is that I popped in Alita Battle Angel 3D Blu-ray, and this is the message that popped up. This feature requires a Blu-ray 3D player connected to a 3D display. Your Blu-ray 3D player has not detected that it's connected to a 3D display. This may be due to display capability or equipment setup issue. So it looks like this 3D Blu-ray player still is valid because it does detect that this is a, a, a Blu-ray 3D player, but this TV, uh, being an LG OLED, did not support, uh, does not support uh, 3D. So rather than hooking this up uh, to our 3D-capable TV, um, we'll just have to go and suffice it to say this is probably going to work, although somebody with a 3D TV attached to this will have to confirm it. But so far, so good as the disc is being recognized. Uh, a couple of new things that I noticed straight off the bat and super easy setup here um, for the Xbox Series X. What we did was actually just use the app, the Xbox app, uh, entered in our 10-digit code, and it actually synced all of our previous settings, but not content, just settings, to the Xbox Series X. Now, a couple of things as you set up that you may need to uh, be aware of is that if you're like me, that, and we have right here a Sony Atmos soundbar, what you'll have to do is set up Atmos again manually, as that is one setting that does not carry forward. So if you guys remembered back in the day when you set up uh, your Atmos uh, sound settings, what you have to actually do is go into uh, your store. So the store button is over here. And then you actually have to go download this app over here. So I've actually found the app being uh, Dolby. So Dolby Access is what you need. You have to go into Dolby Access, launch this app. It's a free app. Now, watch out. It's going to try to sell you on some Dolby Atmos headphones, blah, blah, blah. Skip this entirely. You don't need to try it for seven days. You don't need to buy it. Press Y to skip this. And then over here in the second setting, you have to go down and over to your media, okay? Uh, your media center or your Dolby home theater setup ready to use, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos is ready to use, okay? Once those are all set, then make sure to go into your Xbox system settings and actually configure your HDMI bitstream to be in going to system, actually general volume and audio output, okay? Um, bitstream out and then going to Dolby Atmos for home theater. So that is how you're gonna set up Dolby Atmos output uh, on your Series X. Um, if you are interested in Blu-ray or any Blu-ray playback, you're gonna have to also go back uh, into the App Store, which itself will require a little bit of downloading. Like the App Store itself requires a download. Yeah, I kid you not. Um, and get the Blu-ray player. This one is also one that I just got um, if you, uh, you know, what I had to do is actually just search up Blu-ray. So once you get into the apps, I guess you could probably go to like entertainment apps. And these are all apps that you'll probably end up having to uh, reinstall onto your Xbox. Um, search, search, there you go, top. So once you go up here and search for Blu-ray, Blue, so Blu-ray player. There it is, Blu-ray player owned. So you have to go here, download this, and <laughs> this uh, app is what gets you into your Blu-ray disc playback. So those are uh, quick shortcuts for us to take a look at that. Uh, and again, this has that uh, 3D um, 
disc in there right now. Uh, new Game Pass options, uh, Destiny 2, I'm downloading that right now uh, with uh, the Beyond Light uh, is free in Game Pass. Uh, Game Pass, for those of you guys who don't know, uh, Microsoft has a promotion where if you take your existing Microsoft Gold Access, uh, which you can prepay and pre-buy still uh, at certain vendors with uh, annual subscriptions up to three years, for $1, you can convert that entire duration of three years over to Microsoft Game Pass uh, Ultimate, which is actually a $14.99 a month value. So that's a huge um, trial, basically, or a conversion uh, that's still worthwhile. So there you have it. This is the Xbox Series X in one terabyte SSD unboxing and also demonstration of it. It's available now where retailers have it in stock. Otherwise, check out for new batches before the year's end at a retailer near you. This is the Chan Clan Tech Talk unboxing and demoing the Xbox Series X. Thanks for watching.